approaching the meta challenges that are facing society in terms of resource use, in terms of global climate change and other environmental changes, biodiversity loss, and also how we would like to live in the future. within the Trinity Sustainable Environment theme, we see very much the interaction between people and the environment as being central to our research. Sustainable environment means things like um, food production without damaging the environment, people living in cities, increased urbanisation without compromising air quality, for example, and therefore the links to health. One of the biggest concerns is energy. We really have to pull up our sleeves and become far less dependent on fossil fuel. We have ongoing research both in botany and in geology working out these ash layers in peat box. These volcanic ash layers get deposited in the environment and then they form time markers. If we are able to say this particular ash layer has come from that particular volcanic eruption, we know how old the peat is and all of these archives will have a record of past climate and we need that very desperately to find out whether what we're doing to the atmosphere will have really severe consequences uh, for global climate. One of our biggest projects is investigating the pathways for pollutants, particularly from agriculture, from for example fertilizers, farmyards, etc. And how these pollutants can find their way to groundwater and impact on drinking water supplies or find their way to rivers and impact on um, ecosystems. What we've been doing in Ireland is actually putting on too much nitrogen and phosphorus onto the soils effectively. So a lot of my work is about uh, making management recommendations and actually interacting with, with uh, farming agencies to, to discuss how they might manage their land more appropriately and how they can maximise their yield and yet minimise their impact and, and the flow of these nutrients into, into aquatic systems. A lot of our research is applied and it's to, to help, for example, a government organisation to introduce new policy, new codes of practice. I work with civil society organisations, with grassroots sustainability enterprises. I'm on the management board of the Rediscovery Centre in Ballymun, uh, which was set up to look at reuse of of materials, whether it be furniture, bikes, fashion, the whole range of different activities um, and working with those organisations to see how they can improve the quality of life for very local communities. We research how fisheries have really changed aquatic life over the past three, four hundred years and a lot of those changes actually happened before the 20th century and so we need history to really tell us the impact fishing. So a lot of our information is actually put into uh, the advice which guides conservation uh, targets for the future. One of the real advantages that we have in Trinity is that we have a number of centres like the Centre for Biodiversity Research, the Trinity uh, International Development Initiative, the Centre for the Environment and through our research we actually can make recommendations throughout all the levels at local scales, at national scales and at international level. I think Trinity has a fantastic uh, opportunity to really be at the centre of changing uh, the, f the future for the better of Irish society uh, because of Trinity's unique location and its excellent research. Trinity recognises the fact that by bringing these people together and bringing these minds together we can really develop a great critical mass to really maximise our output and help us to develop a more sustainable uh, approach. It's clearly a balance between coping with, with more people and the demands we have on using additional resources and preserving what's important. Mm -hmm.